Tired? No? So, I know, right? So we're going to do this one first. This was number 81, 81. Mr. Flowers, however you want to say it. 80 Juan. That works, too. Okay. So before we can graph it or put it in set notation, or interval notation, we have to solve first, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Tricky thing is, this is really 1. Or this is really positive, not negative. That's positive. This negative is negative. negative <laughs> right, so it's really like a positive. So what we really got to do is we got to subtract 3 fifths from both sides. Stupid fractions. Who put Did fractions? That, that I wish. If it was multiplying, it would. Oh, okay. But I know. I think that's why they put it there to like tempt you. So our denominator is going to be 15, right? So just this part right here. I'm going to do this as scratch work. Our denominator is 15. And then, so I got to multiply this by 3 over 3, right? So that's minus 9. And this one is by 5 over 5, so it's 25. So is that 16 fifteenths? Is that true? 25 minus 9? I hope it is. It's been a really long day. I'm more tired than Ivan looks. Yeah. Ivan, is that right? It's 25 minus... Oh, that's 16, yeah. Okay. So then here's what we got. We got negative x is greater than 16 fifteenths. Well, that's really like negative 1, right? Yeah, so we have to like switch the sign because we got to have x be positive but when we do wait, 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 wait. yep where did you get the six and six and from right here I had to subtract three fifths what's that I'm sorry you subtracted three fifths from five, five thirds uh huh and it's sixteen fifteenths yeah. Common denominator. You know it's the answer. Yeah, so you multiply this one by, by three the, the top numbers. By three multiply. over three, right? And that's how you get nine, and by five over five, that's how you get twenty five. Alright, so uh, our notation. So X is smaller than this, right? So you can go as small as you want. You can never contain it. That's why you use this. Because the curve parentheses means that the number itself isn't included. It's negative 16 fifteenths. And in a number line, that would look like this. What questions you got? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. What question is this? What's your question, Edgar? Um, how did you get the three fifths again? The three fifths? Yeah. Three fifths. Oh, right here? Because yeah. we had to subtract this from both sides. Just like if it said, like if it said three minus x is greater than five, you'd have to subtract three from both sides. Oh, okay. You see? And then this would become x is less than negative two. Got it now? Yeah. Other questions? <coughs> Alexa, questions? No. no? Okay, Mr. Flowers, you ready? All right. So what numbers are we doing? We're going to do 84. This is the last one we're going to do. 84. 84. Uh, 84. However you want to say it, it's fine with me. I'm not here to judge. Man, this is ugly. This is a thing when you're home at night all by yourself and you're scared because you think there might be a ghost. That's what it is right there. It's a math problem. It's that math problem right there. I mean, if your feet are like sticking out of your covers and you're worried something's going to reach from under your bed and grab them, this is what it's going to be. Why would you give us this kind of problem? I didn't. The book did. I didn't write this. <laughs> I used to have dreams about math problems when I was a student. <laughs> yeah, Edgar, when I was a math student, I used to have dreams about math problems. I couldn't figure them out, and I'd wake up in the middle of the night and be like, oh, I got it now. Like, really? 
because they would they'd be really complicated and like super abstract. And yeah. Did you always know you were going to be a teacher? Oh no. Oh heavens no. All right. So check this out. When I'm looking at this problem, there's several things I'm seeing that like make this tricky. The first is we got a bunch of negatives, so we got to make sure we're careful with the negatives. And we, you're right, we got all the brackets, and we have one, two, three x's. It doesn't matter which side of the inequality we have the x's on when we're done, but we need to get all three of them together. So let's start getting rid of some of the brackets, like. Sometimes, like, if everything was divisible by 3, then we would be able to divide, but none of that happens. So we're going to go ahead and do that thing that begins with a D and ends with a distribute. Is that good? Yeah. Make sure you distribute properly. Now I'm going to do the inside right here first. Do you see what I'm doing? You multiply by negative 2, right? Right. So I guess I'll go ahead and write it as two steps. If I was doing it just on my own, I would probably do it as 1. Now, look, that's plus 10. Yeah. Plus 10, because a negative times a negative. Don't forget it's negative 2. So you're, you're actually multiplying the whole thing times negative 2. Ooh, I'll use this fancy highlighter. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now, you want to see some magic? Sure. Oh, it doesn't work because of the stupid marker. All right, here. Magic. Oh, it's not taking it away. I hate my life. <laughs> I don't think I'm letting it dry. I'm supposed to let it dry. All right. It's supposed to erase? Yeah, it erases a highlighter. That's the stupidest invention ever. But it was kind of cool when I first discovered it. Yeah. Okay, now, um, in here, like, always after you distribute, you need to do that thing that begins with a C and ends with unbind like terms. <laughs> so, like, this right here, this is just 1x, right? Yep. That's just 1x. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put x, okay, x, plus 10. But I don't want to rewrite the whole thing because then I'm going to end up being so sloppy because I'm rewriting so many things. So I'm going to distribute 2 times x is 2x mas 20, yeah? Are we good? Okay. Yeah, because you had to distribute, right, because of the bracket. Okay. So, yeah, you got to really be careful. you got to watch out for those brackets. They'll get you. Brackets and negative signs. And it's all about distributing and then combining like terms. All right. So now we got an X on each side, yes? We need them on the same side. And it's usually best if you move the smaller one. Negative 6 is smaller than 2. So that's the one I would do. Yeah, I would add 6. <coughs> 6 minus 6 is 0. Is that good? We doing good so far? So then, now this one's pretty easy because you just have to use inverse operations. And I think you guys are... Well, based on what you did on Thursday, that that seemed kind of easy. You just got to subtract 20, right? Negative 20. And then you're right. 8 times x, so you divide by 8. Oh, that's 23, sorry. Yeah. And that's your answer. Negative 23 over 8. Equal to less than or equal to x. Questions so far? Okay. Uh, our answer in a set. So you can't go by the arrow here. Because look, this is x is bigger than that. That means the smallest possible answer is actually 23 over 8. Negative 23 over 8 is the smallest possible answer, and x is bigger than that. So it's that to infinity and beyond. <laughs> On a number line, that happens to be negative 23 over 8 right there. Solid dot because it's uh, or equal to. Oops, let me move the paper up. Solid dot because it's or equal to, and it's bigger. All the numbers bigger are to the right. And that is D-O-N-E finished.
What do you think, Ivan? Pretty good? They're not good. Okay, I'm just saying it's very, not a long process, but I'm like, yeah. There's a lot of things to be careful of, you're right. Yeah. So you got to be really careful of the brackets first and the order of operations, which is actually why we started with that silly game, right? And then after that, the negative signs, which is also why we started with that game. But once you get, like, down to just one X, then it's pretty easy. You just have to be careful with inverse operations. So, yeah, you're right, though. There's a lot of places to mess up. Yeah. Okay. Alexa, do you have a question for me? No? Wait, what did you say? I always have questions. Oh, well, what's your question? What do you mean, no? It's just, it's just, it's hard. It's what? It's hard. Oh, bricks are hard. This is just math. 